Hello my friends and welcome to the vlog. Today I'll take you with me on an escape weekend in the Sherwood Forest to paint, to read and write and to have fun without social media and my phone. If you're new here, hi. I'm Radu and through this channel I'd like to share with you my art journey. If you like such content, consider subscribing. I really appreciate your support. So let me tell you a few words about the reasoning of all this. I found myself recently spending a lot of time on my phone with that feeling of expectancy, searching for new exhibition opportunity, expectancy of what will happen next. I even found myself posting and posting to get people's reactions, people's attention and that was the moment I realized I needed some time off. So me and my partner booked a lodge in the Sherwood Forest and indulged in some peace, art and delicious food. But staying active is good so we planned some jogging sessions as well, despite the drizzling rain. Okay, my friends, we are going for a quick run and hopefully the weather will be with us. This wonderful place I chose to spend the weekend is part of the Clumber Park in Nottinghamshire and it's definitely not my first time here. If you want to get some inspiration and summer vibes, you can check my picnic video from Clubber Park by clicking the card. It's really nice place where you can relax or explore and spend some time in nature, especially during spring, watching the plants awakening for new life, it fills your heart with joy and the feeling that something good is going to happen. <laughs> and we are back. And the watch says 11, 11 kilometers, which for me, that's a record. <sighs> okay, time to change. Unfortunately, the weather wasn't suitable for plain air as it was raining a lot, but it was relaxing just to stay in the warm cabin, listening to the raindrops, no music, nothing. Time for a simple and delicious lunch. After all that running, some calories are definitely needed. If you have enough of the wild or get soaked in rain, you can land on civilization where there is a cute cafe with some really delicious offers, nice shop and of course, big second-hand bookshop. I always spent a big amount of time there as there is something for everyone. This time we picked up two art books and you can see my smile spotting a cat drawing book.
With the beginning of the evening, I kind of craved a glass of Prosecco in a warm and cozy atmosphere. This is definitely well spent time without technology distractions. A reading and a writing are also a favorite tool for me to escape reality, but finding time for it is sometimes hard. Most of the time I collect some fast thoughts in a journal form and later on forget about them. Here I can spend some more time expressing my feelings in a written form too. It's easier to dedicate some time to art when you're away from home. You kind of forget about everyday worries and concentrate on the creation itself. I find it most relaxing drawing cats and for reference I took this old calendar with cute cat photos and had some wonderful time. But. It was not only me who did an art session that day. Now is the moment to mention that my partner is an artist as well, although he doesn't have much time for art these days. His current obsession is sketching beautiful buildings. Here's his Instagram page, you can find it in the description too. And I believe if you give him a follow, that will stimulate him to create more and to connect with art again. Thank you. At the end of this artist slash writer retreat, <laughs> I feel a little empty, like at the end of a vacation. It really was like a vacation, wasn't it? Running, cooking late breakfast, drinking wine and this made me wonder, was it a good idea for the art itself or only for the artist? But one thing I know for sure, that part of my brain that constantly worries about everything went on a vacation too. So I had these precious moments to enjoy the peace and quiet, the absence of constant stimuli and to enjoy the process of creating and bonding with my partner. This was magical. Thank you for spending your time with us. Thank you for all your support in my art journey. It means a lot. Till next time. Bye.